what you need to have is either a piece of paper to write stuff down or a monthly calendar. Okay. And happy birthday to Jennifer. Okay, we are gonna start the call with a question. And I either just want you to unmute and tell me a word or two or put it in the chat. Okay, so whatever you wanna do. But if you could name up to three strengths that you have, what would they be? So your three strengths. Doesn't have to be necessarily in the business. It can be anything, three strengths that you have. I'll go. Um, consistency, I'm always willing to grow. And that uh, I enjoy change. Okay, will you write those down real quick, Kelly Joe? Because I'm gonna forget what you said, and that's really surprising to me, and I wanna talk about it. I'm not like that was rude. That was rude. <laughs> like those are your strengths, and I was like, that's really surprising. We're gonna talk about them. No, but for reals, I do wanna talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be never okay. So knowledgeable in health things, always wanting to grow, um, willing to do what it takes to get things done. Stacy, I know you just hopped on. We're sharing three drinks that we have. Okay, I have heard from four people, so where are the rest of you guys? Okay, Jennifer says hardworking, caring, creative. Sarah, accepting, willing to learn and grow, understanding. Strengths for anything, Stacey. Business, personal, whatever your strengths are. Empathy, non judgmental, willing to do what I can for others. Learn quickly, strong willed, strong, willing to learn, non judgmental, honesty, persistent, loyal, loving. Okay, so now I want you guys to take a few seconds and think about how you can apply your strength to your business. And if you have some ideas, because some of these, I'm thinking, okay, I might need a few hours to be able to like relate these things, but I think all of us together can figure this out, okay? Um, so I just see Stacy's right there, always willing to help others in need persistent and loyal. And I immediately think always willing to help others, like that's what we do in this business. And so if you have that as a strength, then you know that you're in the right place because that's what this whole thing is based off of. Um, persistent and loyal. Um, those are easily relatable to business because we've got to follow up, follow up, follow up. There's fortune in the follow up. So I love that. And then loyal, like loyal to our company. Has anybody ever gotten a, a message from another company saying like, hey, do you want to make some extra income on top of the extra income that you're already earning? And I always say, you can't chase through rabbits. You know, if you really want to be successful and people know that you're in and you're in, then you got to be loyal to where you're at. Um, and then also in this book that I've been reading, I um, can't remember if it's in the network. Yeah, the network marketing um, book that I've been talking a lot about, it just talks about um, loyalty, you know, like where do you find your distributors and do you try and sway somebody to join your team from another team? You know, like if they're easily swayed to join yours, then they're going to be easily swayed to join somebody else if the grass looks greener, you know, and so being loyal in your space because the grass isn't green on the other side, like is really important. Um, okay. Driven, loving, honest. So there's lots of things. So I'm going to go back to Kelly Joe's. Okay, so Kelly Joe, you've been in the business for three and a half years. And um, consistency, I agree, totally from day one. Um, willing to grow and enjoy change. Those ones kind of surprised me because you were so resistant to personal development for a really long time. Um, and then change, you've, you've been good with change. So can you talk real quick, um, about growing this strength 
being willing to grow? Because I don't think that you always had it. I definitely don't think I always had it. Um, I look back at Facebook posts or just at life, what it was like three and at like three years, seven months ago, and it was constantly negative and just constantly living in the negative. And that doesn't mean that my brain never goes back there. Like right now I've noticed that I'm like noticing only the drama or like the negative things. And so it's hard for me cause it doesn't come naturally. But I think at some point in this business, I don't really know when it happened, but I decided I was going to be a positive yes person. Like, I don't remember if you know that, but when I went, do you remember that when I went diamond and I was like, I'm saying yes to everything. And I said, yes, I was a yes girl. Like I said yes to anything and everything that like built me up. And that's kind of when it happened, when I changed, as long as it was building my business or like building me up as a human being, I started just saying yes to everything. And I've continued that. Um, and that doesn't mean that I never, like, I think it's important to know too, that it doesn't always just happen naturally. Like it's a struggle every day. And I really have to be conscious of like, Oh, do you really need to say that? Or do you really need to do that? Or does your mind need to go there? Um, but really, I've really noticed actually, since I met this guy that that's when my like willingness to grow has happened is I always want to be my best self. And if I want everybody else to be their best selves around me, like I have to do that. So um, I think a lot of it happened through personal development and through this business and through many, 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 many hours of counseling and just learning that it's okay to not be perfect. Um, and just always being willing to grow and that change, like change is hard. I don't always like love it the first second, but once it's happening, I've learned to love it. And right now, um, we're moving schools and everybody else is so negative about it. Cause we're getting this new school. Our school that we are in right now is 110 years old. It's so, like people have legit been there like their whole lives from preschool on up to teaching for 40 years. <laughs> and so they're sad about it. But for me, I'm like, yes, like I'm so excited about this because this was the first year that I never had to move a classroom ever in six years of teaching. This was my first year being in the same classroom. And so like for me, I'm like, yeah, building change, room change, like I'm all for it. And so it's been fun to be able to give them that light too. Um, and then it reminds me of just like, if we're talking negatively, everybody else talks negatively. Like that's going to be the perception of everybody. So I don't know if that really answers your question, but personal development was huge and just always wanting to be my best self. Yeah. I love that. So I, and I want you guys to unmute, like this call is going to be a little bit different than regular calls because I just feel like we really need to connect right now. Um, who else has grown a strength through this business that they want to share? I'm honestly just trying to think of how to word it. Cause there are a lot of things that have really like shifted for me but I really like don't know how to like put it into words. So it's not for lack of like the changes have happened. I would say if I say I'm doing something, I'm doing it. So I don't know if that's a strength. Like, Oh, for sure. I, if that's something that you didn't do before, like that sometimes you'd break promises to yourself. And now because of this business, you don't for sure. Well, and like, I don't break them to anyone. If I say I am going to be there, I will be there. And it actually makes me crazy. Like when I have friends that are like, yeah, I'll be there at this time. And then they just never show up. And I'm like, how do you function in life? Like, do not tell people you're going to do something and not do it. So that's probably one of my biggest is if I tell you, I will be there. I will be there. I love that. And that's a, that's like really, really rare, unfortunately. And like she said, it's not just to other people. It's like to yourself. And so many times we, we don't fall through with what we said we were going to do just for ourselves because we're all the only ones holding ourselves accountable. But like, that's what really gives you success in this business is when you do what you say you're going to do. So I love that. Okay. Zoe, did you want to share something? This business is making my life more of a work in progress than it used to be. So what do you mean by that? Well, I used to be more stagnant about things, but I've learned that with the business, I have to just keep pushing on and trying to get better. And, you know. Yeah, that is so special. And you guys, life happens to everyone. Does anyone have life happen today? McKendry spent a couple days with me and she knows I'm having life happen right now. And it's not very awesome. Um, and, um, 
like you have a choice. You can either be negative and grouchy about it, kind of like Kelly Joe was saying, or you can decide to look at the good. And like only one of those things is going to bring joy and happiness into your life. And I love that our business stands for that. And I love that you've decided that Zoe, because it doesn't happen on its own. You have to decide to be positive. You have to decide to let it change your life in a positive way. So I'm super proud of you for that. And um, positivity is a strength. I mean, we all know those people that are like, I hate this, I hate that. And they sit there and they're stink all the time. They're not fun to be around, but that's what they do. And so like, that is definitely a strength to be able to see positive in negative situations and be able to pull yourself out of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Who else? Let's hear from one or two more people. And I see some new ones on. So welcome Tika and Kylie, you guys. I'm super excited to see you. LGK30, I don't know who you are, but welcome to the call. Um, I will take them. Let's go ahead, Cece. I, I thought I had pretty decent communication skills with people and I could just talk because I could talk to anybody, anywhere, didn't matter where I was until I started doing this. And I just like all of a sudden, Ooh, and I didn't talk to anyone. And I was terrified. And if you ask Mandy, left and right, Mandy, I don't know what to say. Mandy, I don't know what to say. And I think Mandy kind of helped me in a way just being with the company for as long as, I mean, she, has a, she wasn't in it as longer much longer than I was than I have been but I have definitely learned how to communicate a lot better than I ever have before and it helped me in my personal life and my business and with my neighbors except for one neighbor but it's um just kidding anyway it's it's helped me communicate on a level that I I'm sorry she's not nice to my children um, anyway, it's, it's helped me be able to, to understand people and be able to, to read what they're saying between those lines, things that I never thought before. And how do I say this? But I mean, people will say, you know, one thing that they're looking for, but you know, they're asking another question and I've learned how to kind of read that. So I've been able to a little bit, you know, understanding and a lot better than I used to be. Oh, a lot better. I than love I it. To and be. I thought I did pretty good before, but yeah. And I love, I love the strengths that you guys are sharing because like communication, like, can we all talk to people? Yes. But can we all communicate like that book that says, um, everyone, everyone communicates, but few connect. Um, that's a, that's a really good read, you know, but it's like this business teaches you how to effectively communicate with people. And maybe they're saying one thing and they're meeting another thing, but like we have the tools to know what they really where they really are saying. So I'm so happy to hear that, Cece, that that is a strength that you've picked up on. And what's so cool about that is like communication with people like, you know, over social media, is step number one, communication with people face to face is number two, because it's a little bit scarier because, you know, you're face to face, it's live, you know, and then you get to like take it up a notch where you get to start, you know, doing calls and doing trainings and really connect and teach and and inspire people. So I'm super excited. Um, I think there was one other person who unmuted. If you want to share a strength that, that you've gotten through this business. There's me. <laughs> Go ahead, McKendry. I think one strength that I've gotten is just being able to trust and have faith that um, things are working how they're supposed to, even if they seem like they're a mess and they're not working. Um, Cause before I think um, I got discouraged pretty easily. Um, but now, it's like, okay, things are, things might not be going the way that I want them to, but um, there's a reason for it. And it's just like trusting that process and just having faith that it's going to work out if you're putting in the work for it too. I love that. And I am looking at everyone on this call right now, and I know you all have felt this way where something didn't go your way and you got discouraged and part of you wanted to quit, but obviously you didn't because you're here right now. Right. But like, Something happened either in this business or in life that got you down and discouraged. And I love in this business that, you know, we say things aren't falling apart. They're coming together and just have that faith and just keep going because greatness is right around the corner. Um, can you guys raise your hand if life happened, like extreme life happened right before your promotion? Like whether it was getting your four customers, whether it was hitting a 400 club, but like extreme life happened and you just kept going, even though it was hard. And then greatness was right around the corner. Like 
that always happens. It's almost like that final test. Like, are you going to make it? You know, are you going to be able to be stronger? And we watched this personal development video. Um, I think it was on the Tuesday call, you know, and it just talks about the only way you get stronger is if you get knocked down. Do you guys agree with that? The only way you become a stronger person is if you get knocked down. And so be excited that you're getting knocked down because guess what? You can get back up, girlfriend, like, and boyfriend, no boys. I don't think so. Okay. So you get to get back up, you guys. And every time you get back up, you get stronger. You get better if you choose to, right? Like this is a choice. Um, and so get, I know it's so weird, but like, sometimes I get excited for my trials. I'm like, oh man, this freaking sucks. But what lesson am I going to learn that's going to make me stronger? That's going to make me better. Or maybe I'm going through what I'm going through. So that way I can help my team when they have to go through it. You know what I mean? And so we need to really take that word discouraged out of our vocabulary and look at it as an opportunity to learn and grow and get stronger. Okay. So I wanted to talk about strengths today and working your business because you guys, um, so many times we focus on what we're not good at and we spend so much time, energy, and effort on fixing the things that we're not good at. But can you imagine how much your business is going to explode if you put your time, energy, and effort into the things that you are good at, that you are passionate about, okay? And then what happens is as you grow those things, then other things will start to come into your space. And so um, some of the things that you guys wrote in there were like describing words, um, like um, a couple, well, I mean, they're all good words. So I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything like that, but I want you guys to think now about strengths that you have that are gonna help you in this business and that you can turn around and use it to propel your business forward. So for example, one strength that I feel like I'm pretty good at is organization. Like I have everything in its spot. I've got binders, my time, literally like every minute is organized. I know where it's going. Um, like that's one strength that I have. I'm disciplined and I'm super competitive. Like who's doing crack the pack with us right now? Um, like super competitive. Like you put me against some leaders and say, go, then I'm going to make sure that we're going, you know? Um, and so like, those are my strengths that can really help me in the business. Now, because I know I'm competitive, then I need to find someone else that's going presidential diamond and race with them, you know, or I need to find someone who's an enrolling customer queen and say like, listen, I'm going to beat you this month. And when I beat you, you're going to owe me a $5 Starbucks card. Okay. Or you know what I mean? Like, I know that that's a strength that I have. And so how can I use it to drive my momentum in my business? Okay, so I want you to write in the chat. Um, and if you haven't shared yet, and two or three people wanna share, what strength do you have that can help you be successful in this business? And if you don't know one, then we can find you one because everybody has strengths, okay? <clears throat> I know, Kelly Joe. I've never challenged you because I don't know how to beat you yet in customer enrolling, <laughs> which is why I need to challenge you. <laughs> And I see that we have two pages and I didn't even say, I see um, Caitlin on here, Ashley, Yara, you guys, welcome, Amanda, Dee, good to see you. Okay, I never quit. I love that. That's a, that's a strength and you know that your flag is planted and, and you know where you're going. Consistency never gives up. I know that about Cheryl, always posting, always doing her work. Um, Teresa, you're competitive. Nice. Okay. So once again, you guys, I never quit. I keep going. Like these are good things, but let's, let's think more like those are great things, but let's think more business. Like what do you have that sets you apart from other people in the business. Am I not, I don't know, maybe someone else gives some examples. Because you guys have more than just, I don't quit and I keep going. You have more than that. You 
Yes, like good question. Like what does giving up not look like? And then the other thing too, it was on Ashley Mayfield's live that she did the other day there, like she mentioned this, and this is something too that, that is hard on your brain and on your mindset is when you say, well, I haven't signed anything yet, but I'm not giving up. I'm not quitting. Like we need to not even be saying that. Like that just needs to be off the table, you know? I want to add something to that real quick. I was listening to Rachel Hollis's podcast today and it said, um, she was talking about like writing down your goals and your dreams. And she said that a lot of people say like, I wish I was making a billion dollars a month, but all your, or a year, but all your brain is thinking about is a billion dollars and wish like you need to say, I am making a million dollars. So like, if you're saying you don't give up, what, it, what does that look like? And then saying like, or if you're worried about not signing customers, like you say, I am signing customers. Like I have signed four customers, like speak it out. Like it's already happened. Not like you're in the wishing, hoping stage. And maybe instead of saying like, I won't ever give up, maybe just like, I'm going to make it to the top and like changing the way that we're, that we're wording. So we need to work on, on strengths. I can tell from looking in the chat right now, because we need to find like, what are the things that we are good at and what does that look like? So, um, you know, when someone says like they're disciplined, what are you disciplined in? Are you disciplined in the foods that you eat? Are you disciplined in working out? Are you disciplined in getting X amount of messages out a day? Like we need to get way more specific on what our strengths are. So um, I'll do some research because um, this is going to be a game changer in a lot of our businesses because we're just scratching the surface with words and I don't feel like we know exactly how deep and how good this can be. Okay. So, um, all right. We are almost done with what month is it right now? April. Um, we're almost done with April. It's the 25th, which means all auto shipment orders have run. If you've checked your downline reports today and your volumes, write yes in the chat. If you've updated your charts, checked your downlines, um, and make sure that everything that ran was supposed to run. Okay. Write yes in the chat. If you haven't, you got to do that tonight before you go to bed. Okay. All auto shipment orders have run. If you are not commission qualified, you need to be commission qualified on 150 personal bonus volume. If you would like to run an ADBB auto shipment, I need a message by tonight or tomorrow morning by 9 a.m. Amber's BAM leaves at 2 p.m. So we got to get email sent and orders in if you would like to run an ADBB auto shipment, okay? Um, if you don't know how to chart, you need to get with your upline, okay? You need to get with your upline Ruby, Emerald, or Diamond Leader and know how to chart. You cannot tell me that you want to go Ruby and then in the same breath, tell me you don't know how to chart to Ruby. Okay, so we gotta teach you how to chart to Ruby so that way you can go Ruby or Emerald or Diamond, okay? So you've gotta know your charts, you've gotta know your numbers, um, you've gotta be commission qualified, number one. Um, we, there's so many different month and volume boosting activities that you can do. You can get customer reorders, you can do perks points, you can do referrals and get new customers. Um, there's a lot of different things we can do to try and boost volume. Um, now, I want to know from some of you guys, when you're going for a promotion, remember your promotion that you were going for however many months ago and the 25th hit, how short of volume were you? Write it in the chat. The 25th hit, how short of volume were you? Four hundred volume, two thousand, four thousand. Ashley knows her number, seven ninety today. Sarah, three thousand. Bailey, three thousand. Okay, you guys. When I was pushing for double, I was short thirteen thousand on the twenty fifth of the month. Can you guys wrap your hand around thirteen thousand volume right now? Okay, we did it in five days. Actually, it wasn't even five days. It was three days because. It was freaking February and who puts 28 days in a month, right? So in three days, we were able to bring in that much volume. So no matter what you have, number one, you have to believe that you can do it. And then number two, you have to do everything in your power to 
to make it happen. And it will happen. And if it doesn't, you guys, then guess how many seeds you just planted that are going to harvest next month, you know? But if you believe it will happen. And I know I messaged Amber and I was like, I don't even know. Like, there is no way. I don't even know. And I'm like, but if God willing, it will. Like, that's all I could say. And I was working my tail off, you guys, and we did it. And so it doesn't matter how much you have. You have five days left in the month. And I see people that are um, 300, 4,000, 3,000, like it can be done. And if you need the tools, um, you can send me a message or a diamond leader message because we've, we've experienced it. You guys, we can give you messages to send ideas to do. We can do parties. Like there's so many different ways to bring in volume. Okay. So I'm going to kind of shift a little bit. Um, the pack training, you guys, everybody's a member of it. If you're not right that you're not, and we'll get you added. The pack training is a step-by-step -step guide of teaching you how to do your daily six list. Now your daily six list is personal development, post, message, expand your network, use your products beyond the pack halls. I've done this business for four and a half years. If you do those six things every single day, you will have success. Now, if you do more than that, then your success will come quicker. And there are a lot of different things that you can do that are more. But I made the pack training simple. So as new distributors get signed, they know what they need to do. And if you do those things, you're gonna see success. Now, when you become a Ruby leader, now you have three distributors underneath you and those distributors have customers and maybe those distributors have distributors. You're paid, so as a distributor you make on average, I think it's what, $54 is what distributor average income is. And then on the income disclosure chart, it says that Ruby is like 474, right? So if you wanna get paid from $50 to $500, that means that you have to be more valuable. You have to provide more value in order to get paid more. So now that you're a Ruby leader, you've got team underneath you that needs to be taught. You've got to check your downline reports on a daily basis so that way you know what's coming in your organization and maybe what's going out, who had returned orders, who has CCD claims. If you're not checking those reports, you're missing out as a Ruby leader and your team is missing out because they don't know to check those things unless that they're on the calls, unless that they're taught. Okay, so to get from $50 to $500, you need to up your value as a leader to get paid as a Ruby leader. Do you guys agree with what I'm saying? You don't just get to be a Ruby leader and not do anything different. You need to do more. Then to go from Ruby, which is on average $500, to an Emerald, which I think on the disclosure chart, it says like 900 or 1,000. I'll just say 1,000 just to make it easy. So to go from $500 being paid as a Ruby to $1,000 being paid as an Emerald, what do you think you have to do? You have to up your value. You gotta level up. You as an Emerald leader cannot have the same mindset that you did as a Ruby leader. You as an Emerald leader now have nine people in your organization that you get to help, or however many it is now, but you get to help do all of those things. You've got two Ruby leaders in your organization that you need to teach to be Ruby leaders. If you don't, is your Emerald organization going to be solid? No, it'll fall apart. And how many of us have had organizations that have fallen apart because our leaders didn't know what they were supposed to do or maybe weren't willing to do it, what they needed to do? Chelsea, then Kelly, Kelly Joe, you were just agreeing. Chelsea, go ahead. So I don't know if you guys are truly listening because when I was told this, when I was a Ruby leader and I was told I'm not doing enough, I was like, I'm doing so much, just doing so much things, but really like dig down and think how much you're actually truly working and putting into your business. Because you guys, I will travel hours to do a party. I will, if somebody needs me, I will show up. That is the difference. Like I am constantly working. If somebody needs me, they know they can reach me. Like there is a difference. There's a huge difference between just getting by and raising the bar for yourself. Chelsea, let me put you on the spot for a second. I'm ready. And I hope that you're okay with this. Well, I know you are, because I love you, and you're just honest about everything. One of the, so we talked about, we, when you were a Ruby leader, we talked about driving and going and doing places. And your biggest thing was, I just don't have the money. 
Like I don't have the money for gas and my, and like, you didn't have your new car yet at this point, I don't think, but like, those were reasons why you feel like you couldn't do it. And well, and realistically, like those were real reasons, right? Yeah. Like those were things that were really holding me back from being successful. To be honest, driving a big Tahoe that costs eighty dollars to drive two hours—that was holding me back. So I stopped letting that hold me back. Got a new car that changed the game for me. Yeah, my payment was more, but like I knew that I would make it, and I started getting in my brain that if I wanted to do this, I need to be proactively working to make more, not telling myself that I can't do it because I don't make enough. And, and it is, I mean, you guys are all in your own financial situations and you all get to decide, but are you going to Starbucks and getting a drink or filling up your gas tank and driving to a distributor's house? Which one do you want? You know what I mean? Are you going and getting your eyelashes and your nails done or are you running your ADBV auto shipment? You know, like there are things that, that we're spending money on that we don't even realize. And Chelsea said, it's really not financially making sense for me to do this, but what can I do? And she found a way to make it happen. So I'm glad that you're saying this, Chelsea, because I want you guys to hear me. Like some of you guys are watching TV right now and I'm just like, okay, so you're not really serious. Like I'm glad you're on the call or whatever, but like you guys want to make money in this business. I've been in it for four and a half years. I legit, you guys, it's insane. Get to make five figure income, which I literally joined this business to be a distributor. I literally joined this business to make $50. And I want you guys to hear me because I want to set you up for success. That's the only reason why I'm doing this call right now is my family's in the kitchen playing board games without me. Okay. Like I invest and I sacrifice a lot for you guys. And I want you to hear what I'm saying. Okay. So from going from a distributor to Ruby, you have to level up to go from a Ruby to Emerald. You have to level up and you guys going from Emerald to diamond. It's not even just level up. It is your brain and it will, it will, your brain is, is, is a big mindset shift between Emerald and Diamond. And I know Bailey can talk about that, but we'll have Chelsea, Kelly, Joe add, add what you guys want. <laughs> Sorry. I, You're okay. So I don't to apologize. You also have to remember to stay in your lane. Okay, like let's talk about that because if you try and go from having a mindset of a distributor to a mindset of a double diamond, you're going to fail. You have to grow with it, like grow and get moving and get pursuing and get moving and just keep freaking moving or you are not going to be successful. And there's no reason why you can't grow from a distributor to double mindset quicker than it took me quicker than it's taking, you know, us. And, we, and that's why we do these calls. So we can tell you the things that we've learned along the way. So that way you can learn them faster. Go ahead, Kelly. Um, I don't remember what podcast this was I was listening to, but I've been listening to podcasts like crazy. But um, <clears throat> they were saying that like, if you want to move from a diamond to a double, you can't be like diamond at a diamond mindset like if you want double you already have to be at a double or a triple mindset like you already have to be doing the work or you're gonna once you get there like you're not gonna have the knowledge and power to be able to handle what's going on and so I think that happens to some of us is like we I know for diamond like I grew fast and it grew faster than I was ready for and then when I got there I didn't know how to handle all the stuff because I didn't do the personal development and the internal growth that I needed to do now if I had done those things and taken it seriously my organization like I don't even know what it would be like right now but I know when I went double like I already had the mindset of like I was already pushing like triple mindset and no like right now am I ready for that triple like what's going to happen when I'm handling all that no and so that's why it's not happening because I have to do the growth for that triple mindset before I ever hit triple like you can't hit triple and then have the mindset you can't hit diamond and then have the mindset you have to be emerald get the mindset then hit it for diamond if that makes sense yeah and that leads us right into what I want to talk about next you guys because um my time is valuable just like you guys' time is valuable every time that we spend on a call every time that we spend working our business is time that we're taking away from another part of our life okay and so um moving into finishing april strong you guys i want you to know where you're going i want you to set those goals i want you to push yourself and i want you to do things that you haven't done before okay i want you to use this month end push for the last five days 
to plant as many seeds as you can, to do a party, to do a Facebook Live, like to do things outside of your comfort zone. That's the only way you grow your confidence, okay? So what we're gonna do going into next month, and I, and I want you guys to write this down. Um, I've talked to leaders and we are coming up with a list of the things that we do. Okay, a list of the things that we do as distributors, a list of the things that we do as Ruby, Emerald, and Diamond leaders. And you guys are going to be working with a group that is the level above where you want to be. So distributors, you guys, your job as distributors is to get so proficient at that pack document that somebody says, hey, can you tell me what personal development books there are? And you're like, you know what? There's a whole list of them in the pack training. It's in unit two, section one. Go check it out. And you're giving them the tools to go find the answer themselves because you know that pack training like the back of your hand. They're like, oh, well, can you tell me how we get paid? So what I want you to do is I want you to go to pack training. I want you to check the unit three, which is frequently asked questions. And I want you to find that one in there because there's a video. Okay. So as distributors, you guys use that pack training because that is all of the basics that you need to know. And if I'm missing something, tell me and I'll add it. It's not perfect. There are typos. There are maybe things that are out of date and I need to change them. So like know the pack training, like it's nobody's business. That's going to take you from distributor to Ruby, okay? Because a Ruby leader knows how to take care of their three distributors, knows how to take care of their team, understands how to enroll a customer, what the customer program is, how to change an auto shipment, how to apply perks points. A Ruby leader knows those things that are all in the pack training that they get to teach their distributors, okay? So right now, all of you guys, I'm just going to say all of you, are distributors. Can you... Promise me that in the next five days, you're going to go through that pack training. I mean, you don't have to promise me. You can promise yourself because if you want to make money in this business, you'll do this. Okay. So in the next five days, you have gone through that pack training. You've read every word. You've watched every video. And if I've made a mistake, you've messaged me and told me so that way I can fix it. Okay. That's number one. That's going to take you from distributor to Ruby. And especially you guys, if you are on our power half hours that we're doing me and Kelly Joe were talking, our businesses have never been better because we're working less, but doing more. Like it is so much fun to just get to work for an hour or work for 30 minutes and then put our phones away. Like, praise Jesus, I'm not on my phone all day long. Like it feels so good because we're working our businesses in spurts, okay? And so learn what those are and then you get to do them on your own time, however you want it to look. But if you don't know how to work your business in 30 minutes, then get on these calls so that way you can learn how to do it, okay? So step one, pack training like it's nobody's business, okay? Number two, you guys that are all Ruby leaders, we are going to come up with a list of all of the things that Ruby leaders should be doing on a daily basis for themselves and on a daily, weekly, monthly basis for their teams. Because when you become a Ruby leader, you guys, it's not just about you and working your own business. It's about you working your own business plus what can you do for your team? Okay, and your team is that level distributor. Is this making sense? So then you go, once you're a Ruby leader, you guys are gonna be working with the Emerald group, okay? The Emerald group now has two Ruby leaders. And you guys, when you start getting leaders on your team, it starts to get a little bit, a little bit um, complicated because now they are trying to step up and be a leader for their team and you're trying to step up and be a leader for them, you gotta empower them as a leader, but you all wanna be on the same page. You all wanna be helping everybody, but you also don't wanna be contradicting each other or, or um, like messaging each other too much, or you know what I'm saying here? And so when you become an Emerald leader, what are your tasks to do for your own business and what are your tasks to do for your team? So we're gonna make a list of everything that we can possibly think of. Now, that doesn't mean that everything on the list is going to be right for you. But what's cool about it is you're gonna to get to decide, I really like this, I don't really like this, and you're gonna be able to develop yourself into the leader that you wanna be. And you're gonna have a list and you're like, okay, well maybe I'll try that on and see if I like it. And then if you don't, then maybe you're gonna, you're gonna shift it into something that you do like, okay? So we're gonna give you a list of everything that you need to do as an Emerald leader, okay? And then when you're Emerald, you're gonna be part of the diamond group. 
And the diamond group, same thing. A list of the things that you do for your own business, a list of the things that you should be doing to help your team and grow your team and be that diamond leader, you guys. And you've gotta be checking your downline reports from distributor all the way up to diamond. You've gotta be doing that daily six list from distributor all the way up to diamond. Like I do the exact same thing that I teach my brand new distributor to do. The only difference is I do it more often. Instead of doing one power half hour, I'm doing like three or four throughout the day. Instead of going to a party, I'm hosting a party. You know what I'm saying? So like you're, you're, we're doing the same things, but it looks a little bit different as you grow up in the ranks. And um, same thing, you guys can keep the things that you like and you can leave off the things that you don't because you get to be your own leader. But you also want to know what's going on because just because it's not something that you want to do, it might be something that benefits your team. Like some of you guys don't like power half hours and you do just fine working your business the way that you work it, but someone in your team might really benefit from power half hours. And if you don't know how to do it or how to teach it, then, then it's hurt or like where to tell them to go to get it, then it's, it's hurting your business and it's hurting theirs. So it's, it's, there's a lot and I really want to simplify it. And I'm really excited about this, you guys, because this is how you grow a successful business is you start a distributor and you work your way up. You're going to fail a lot. You're going to get knocked down a lot. You're going to build a team and they're going to quit. And guess what? You're going to learn from it every single time and you're going to be stronger. So um, we are having the diamond call on Wednesday, the emerald on Wednesday, the first the Emerald call on Thursday, the second, and the Ruby call on Friday, the third. I will be sending a message to each person inviting you to be on the call. If you can't be on the call and you tell me that, then I will send you the recording. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys in a group. So all the diamonds will be in a group and our check-in days will be Wednesday. All the emeralds will be in a group, our check-in days will be Thursday, and all the rubies will be in the group, and our check-in days will be Friday. And I'll give you a weekly task list of things to do to grow yourself and your team into the leader that you wanna become. And it's gonna be a lot of work for me, and I'm not gonna drag a single person. If you choose not to participate, then that's your choice, but if you choose to participate, you're gonna see results, okay? So I'm really excited about this. It's a, it's, something I've never done before, but um, I'm ready for, for a lot of diamond leaders. I'm so tired of people not making full-time income working from their phone. And I know that you guys that are in the Ruby group will, will graduate into the Emerald group and will graduate into the diamond group. And you could do that in a month or you could do that in a year. It's your choice how much you wanna get done because I know what I'm doing and I know Kelly Jo knows what she's doing. Chelsea knows, Mandy knows, Bailey knows, all of our diamond leaders that we have right now, you know, we're all a little bit different, but when it's all said and done, we've learned the tools that it takes to be successful and we want to teach them to you guys. So, are you excited? I want to see faces. If you're excited, shake your head like this. Yeah. So you're going to send out a message of when the times are, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and then it's, so if you're a Ruby going Emerald, you'll be in the Emerald. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to clarify things in my brain. Thank you. Uh, and the reason why you guys is because the task that I'm giving you, you need to have people in your organization because if you don't have distributors in your downline, then the tasks that I give you aren't going to make any sense. Right. Um, and so that's why it is the way that it is. And then if you get charted for Ruby this month, we'll add you to it. Like it's not just the first to the 30th. Like we'll add people. We'll shift you into a new group if need be. Like our job is to help you thrive and be successful. And I, I'm part of this um, group actually. So when you go triple diamond, you get invited to the lifers page, which I'm super excited for you guys to be a part of that. You guys, and do you know how many people are in the lifers page? It's like 340. Okay. We have, I think, over, over 100,000 distributors. And there are 340 people, act, I don't even know, I wouldn't even say completely actively working as triple diamond or above, because there are some people who have lost rank that are still up there. Um, and there are people who have quit that are still in that group. 
you guys, there's only like 350 people. Like there is so much room for everyone. It's not even funny. But anyway, so in this group, um, the month that I got added, they were like, our momentum's on fire. Who just went triple and is pushing for presidential? And I comment on the post and I said, me, and they're like, hey, we're going to make our own group chat. And there is about 20 of us leaders in this group chat that are all triple diamond pushing for presidential. And they're like, hey, how are you boosting volume? Hey, you guys, I'm doing a power half hour. Who wants to hop on with me? Hey, what are you guys sending for this product? Or send me your best host post. And we are all like, nobody's in my upline or downline in this group. And we are all helping each other. And it's incredible like the support and resources and stuff that I'm gathering. And I know I've sent some of it to some of you guys, but the, the, the stuff that I'm getting is stuff I've never had before because before I was just always on Amber Parker's calls. You know what I mean? But once you find some sidelines and once you like get to branch out, you can grow so much. And so within these group messages, you know, with this Ruby group, the Emerald group, the diamond group, you're going to have sideline sisters in there. And I would encourage you guys, number one must be kept positive because we don't need any negative and negativity in this group, but I encourage you to ask questions and to give your strengths to other people. And if you've got a sideline sister who's so good at organization and you're so good at making photo editing pictures that you guys share, you're like, okay, I want you to create my calendar for me because you're so good at organization. Tell me what to do and how to do it and when to do it. And I'll make all of your, all of your pictures for Facebook because I love that. And they love organizing you guys. Like I'll organize every single one of you guys' days because I love that. So, like it brings me such joy. Like that's my strength, right? And so you're going to be able to find other people's strengths where we don't have to focus on what we're not good at. And we can have somebody else do something that they're passionate about and we do something in return for them. And that is what makes like your business so strong is when you focus on what you're good at. Okay, go ahead, Tay. And then um, like a mini mastermind. You are right, Carrie Ann. <laughs> Um, go ahead, Tay, and then um, if there's any questions, we'll we'll finish it up. We'll, we'll finish it up. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Um, are the groups for lifetime rank or current rank? Uh, depends on. That's a good question. Um, depends on where we feel like you'll thrive the most, and um, depending on how many you have in your team and whatnot and the things that we have planned for the groups. Um, it might be something that we start you in Ruby and then we move you to Emerald. Yeah, that's where I expected to start. But you, but you know what I mean? Like, like me personally, I just didn't know if I was getting, wasn't getting paid as Ruby, if I would still get to be in that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So it, it, so. I'm just going to look at charts and stuff. And if you don't get a message from me, um, it's not going to be today. It'll be probably Sunday or Monday. Um, if you don't get a message and just be like, Hey, you were talking about that group and I want to be in it. And I'll be like, okay, perfect. Sorry. Cause I might, I might miss people. You guys like y'all have been growing so fast and so much, but I'm going to try and do my best and talk to each of the diamond leaders and ask them who should be in the group and what group you think that they'll be in. So I don't think we'll miss it. Okay. But... Okay. okay. So that's what I have for you guys tonight. I'm really excited. Um, does anyone have anything else to say? Um, so, like, when Tamika and Chelsea and Kelly Jo and everyone, it, like, what they're saying on this call, like, you guys need to listen to them. You need to, like, implement exactly what they're saying because they know what they're doing. They have risen to the top and they have gone through all the struggles and paved the path for us to be able to figure out how to get to where they're going. So when they're saying these things, you, you just need to do it. You need to listen and you need to get it done because um, that's how you're going to rank up and that's how you're going to grow um, in this company and as a person. Um, you're, like, you're not going to, I mean, I can't say that you're not going to grow if you're going to do it a different way, but why do it a different way when this is the way that works? Like, I don't know, just listen to your upline and your leaders and what they're doing. Me going to Tamika's house um, was awesome. I learned so, so much. Like my team has been struggling, I feel like, and she gave me so many pointers and tips and just things to do. And I did that as soon as I got home. 
and I already see a difference in myself and in my team like these things that everyone is saying don't ignore them do them <laughs> like they're so important thanks McKendry and yeah like McKendry left she just came up for a few days and anyone's always welcome to come to my house and hang out with me for whatever you need whatever you, like I feel like when you get around like-minded people it just like fires you up um but she got home and immediately I saw everything that we had talked about starting to be implemented. And she messaged me, she said, my team, they're back. Like we're doing this. And I'm like, yes. And so like, really like the leader has to be on fire. The leader has to be passionate. The leader has to be excited. And then when you pass that on to your team, I even think about Bailey. Um, when she was at conference, she was messaging her team and, and so excited about everything that was going on. And they just caught her vision and were excited with her. Um, and so, um, thanks McKendry and, and, um, I guess the other thing that I need to, you need to end with is when you're on a call, you're fired up, you're excited. Okay. Like who's ready to finish the month strong and, and move into next month with this new game plan. Like, I feel like we all are right. But then what happens tomorrow and the next day we lose it, you guys. And that's why the power half hours are so great because you get to connect on a daily basis. Um, and then the other thing that you need to know is you need to know what your habit tendency is. And I posted the, um, the link to the quiz in the pack training. It's under the frequently asked questions. And I know as soon as Chelsea watched the video, she sent me a screenshot and I was like, what is this? I don't even know. And she's like, I'm downloading the book. There's a book called four tendencies. And I downloaded it yesterday and I just barely like uploaded it to my phone and I'm going to start it tonight. But you guys there are four tendencies that we do as people when, when we're asked to do something new, there's the ones that are the upholders, there's an obliger, there's a, um, questioner. And then the, the fourth one, I can't remember, but, um, you need to know your habit tendency. Are you one of these kind of people that need to be checked in on, on a daily basis? Are you a person who needs to report back to someone? Are you a person who's disciplined and can hold themselves accountable? Um, and so you need to figure out what your habit tendency is. So that way you can work your business for 30 straight days. Because some of y'all are guilty of going hard for two days and then falling off the face of the planet for two weeks. And then coming back at us saying like, hey, I want to get started again. Like that does not build successful diamond leaders. It's 30 days of every single day, consistency, working and doing what you need to do. Go ahead, Chelsea. Well, you guys, if you think about if you do consistent work for 30 days, how much easier it is than doing three days worth of work and getting 1700 volume instead of 30 days worth of work to getting 1700 volume. You guys, I did not sleep. I did not eat. I did not do anything but sit right here and, well, not right here because I just made this desk, but um, get what I mean. Like, it's so much easier to constantly work. Like, I would say I constantly work in one way or another. So, like, it's easier to work and just get it done and, like, do what you need to do and then enjoy your life instead of having to crunch it into five days. And even just for your mindset, like you guys are like, oh, I suck. I can't stick with anything. I, I, I always quit. I always do that, you know, and like you don't and you're going to stop because we're going to figure out what your habit tendency is and, and put you in the right place that if you need to check in with someone, if you need an accountability partner, if you need a list of things to do that you do every single day, like we can create that for you. And so make sure that you take that test and then reach out to your upline leader. Like you guys know, Ruby leaders are getting paid more than you. Emerald leaders are getting paid more than you. Diamond leaders are getting paid more than you, right? And so that means that they need to do more work. So allow them to help you have success the way that you need to by asking for what you need, okay? So I love this call. I will put the recording up on the YouTube channel for anyone that missed it. Um, Y'all earned your crack the pack point tonight. And I saw a lot of people posting their own quotes. I loved that. That was so, so, so awesome and fun to see you guys' creativity shine through on that. So um, we will send out tomorrow's challenges. Um, if you're part of that group, if you're not part of the group, talk to your diamond leader because you're so welcome to join. Um, and we'll get that tomorrow's challenges out tonight. Okay, so have an awesome night.